Okay, here we go with exercise 5.3. Now, these are straightforward. They look a bit, might look a bit trickier with this table down here, but it's really quite easy. So what we've got is we've got a rule, D equals E plus 3, and it relates to this diagram. So let's look at our diagram. E equals a number of toothpicks, and 3 is just this. So our question is, what does E stand for? Well, E is just the number of toothpicks in the jar, or in the glass, in the cup, whatever you want to call it. But E is just the number of toothpicks in there. So what does D stand for? D equals the number of toothpicks in here, which is E, plus the 3. So D is the whole lot. So D is the total number of toothpicks. So that's pretty easy. Now it says use the rule to complete to complete a table of values. So use the rule to complete the table of values. So what's our rule? I'm going to write the rule down here. E plus 3. Okay, so there's our rule. So now we've got to fill this in. So when E equals 1, so that's what this is, when E equals 1, so i just got to imagine if I put a 1 in there, so that's 1 plus 3. What's 1 plus 3? Is 4. Then I go back, have a look at this one, when E equals 3. Okay, so there's my E, E equals 3. I put 3 in there, so it becomes 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3? I think everyone can work that out, is 6. So what that's telling me is no matter what value I have here, I can work out what D is. It gets a bit tricky, I'll leave these ones for you guys, but this, you've got to think here, if I've got D, so I'm just going to put my D equals on this part, so now I've got, oops, so now I've got my 12, so I think about my 12, this time my 12 is the D, so I'm going to put 12, oops, not very good, let's rub that out, let's try starting again, sorry about that, so I'm going to put 12 equals E, which is I don't know, I'm going to put a question mark, plus 3, so something something here plus 3 will equal 12. So I've just got to think. Something plus 3 equals 12. So that should be is it 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I put 9 in here, I know that that would if I put 9 in here that's there. So I'll leave you to figure out those ones. So if we look at question 2, this time the rule is K equals 4J. So if we think about it, there's J toothpicks, J toothpicks, J toothpicks, and J toothpicks. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've got 4J. So what does J stand for? The number of toothpicks in each jar. And obviously if that's got 5, that's got 5, that's got 5. It's going to be exactly the same in each one because it's J toothpicks. What does K stand for? K equals all of this. So K is the total number of, of toothpicks. Over here it says use the rule to complete the tables. So the first thing I would write down is I know it's 4J. So this is my J. So what does 4J equal? That's 4 times J. Or I could do it the long way of 4 with J plus J plus J plus J. Okay, so I could do it J plus J plus J plus J. But our short way of doing it is 4 times J. So I need to do this. I imagine my J is 1. So I put 1 in there. 4 times 1. What's 4 times 1? It's 4. And I go here, this is 3 this time, I put my 3 in there, 4 times 3, what's 4 times 3? That is 12, so I put my 12 in there. So we can think about how what these would go. This time, over here with my 36, this time I've got to write it the other way. So I've got 
36 equals 4 times something. I've got to figure out what my something is. That's my J. So 4 times something equals 36. Use your thinking caps. 4 nines are 36. That one's pretty easy. So there you go. So hopefully that will help you fill out these ones. Okay, this one is very similar, but we've got a little bit more complicated rule. So it says the rule shows how to calculate output values for the picture. So it's just a lot of... We've just got this rule where W is the number of toothpicks in each cup and G is the total number of toothpicks. So this time this is just telling us what we had to find out before. So W is the number of toothpicks in each cup and G is the total amount. So this time we've got 2W because we've got two cups and we've got our five left over. So what would this be? I know if I've got two, so it's going to be my rule, if I write down my rule, 2 times W plus 5 and I know G is the total amount. Now how did we work these out? I remember that there's my two cups together so I'm going to put a bracket around that to make sure that I remember. Okay, so put my brackets around because they're a pair. Those two are a pair, 2 W there. And I do my plus 5 at the end. So I've got my 2 as a W so I'll put that in there. So I've used my my thinking cap, so I'll go 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 5, and i put my answer in there. Here, 2 times 5, it's 10, plus 5, and i put my answer in. So they're pretty straightforward. Over here, this is where it gets trickier. Okay, I've got to think. So, sorry, it's 29 equals 2 times something plus 5. So when I'm doing this, the first thing I think about, I should take 5 away from this. So 29 take 5. That makes it a little bit easier. So then I'm left with 24 equals 2 times something. Now it looks a bit easier. I've made it easier by getting rid of that 5. Okay? So if I take 5 away from both sides, then I get rid of that 5, and I've got 24 here. So I know that that must be 12. Over here, question 4, we've got this here, and if you remember from before, that's 3 lots of Z plus 1. So here's my first lot of Z plus 1, my second lot of Z plus 1, my third lot of Z plus 1. What does Z stand for? number of toothpicks. What does W stand for? W is the whole lot. So use the rule. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. I can make that rule easier. So I know I've got one, two, three Z's. So I can write three times Z. And what have I got a plus on the end? There's one, two, three. So plus three. I'm going to put that in brackets because I know I've got to do that first. So now I can just simply, I've got my formula here. This is my z. It does look a bit like a two but that's why it's got the line in the middle. So I put my z in there. Three times two, six plus three. So you can work those out. And obviously this one is going to be similar to this so I have to take my three away from it first. And I get the three times z. I've got to figure out that so I'll let you try and figure These ones are even easier. All it's giving you is the rule. It's giving, giving you the rule straight away and then the values. So I've just got to put this in here. So that's my t value. So nothing plus six equals six. Two plus six equals eight. This one, what does this equal? That means the same as 3 times B. So whatever my B is, I've got to times it by 3. That means I've got 3 lots of B. 3 lots of B. So 3 times nothing. It's nothing. 3 times 2. So there's my 2 here. 
that goes in there, that's my B value. 3 times 2, 6. This one, pretty straightforward. That take away J value. So 8 take 1, and my answer would go in there. So I guess it's a cheat's way of making you do four sums in just one table. Over here, for D, we've got four lots of T plus 7. So what does that mean? That's 4 times my T value, which is 0, then 2, then 3, then 12, plus 7. And they're a pair, so I do my bracket around that just to remind me that I've got to do this value first. Okay, so 4 times my T value, then plus 7. This one, this is 4 groups of P take 2. So that's a bit trickier. 4 lots of P take 2. If we think about our other pattern, that was 4 lots of P, which is 4P, or 4 times P. Okay, oops, that didn't work. Then it's 4 lots of take 2. So what's 4 lots of take 2? So it's take 2 plus another take 2 and another take 2 and another take 2, which is take 8 or negative 8. So it's 4 lots of negative 2. So 4 lots of negative 2 is the same as negative 8. So hopefully that will help you do this one. This one, 3 lots of Q plus 1. So if I drew that, 3 lots of Q. 3q, 3 lots of 1 is 3, and it's all a plus sign there, so we've got that there. So this one here, this i, this is why we had to do integers in our time and our positive and negative numbers. So this is the same as 4 times negative 2. We've got a positive and a negative, gave us a negative. So that was so important that we learnt those ones. So hopefully that will give you some hints to get going with those.